Maybe just turn off the music, period? Is that what y'all want me to do? Because I can do that. Music. Off. And I'll just make my own music. Hey, how's it going? This is me singing to y'all. Okay, first, I'm gonna find the keys to the old house. Then, I'm gonna drive to Fireweed, and I'm not going to freak out. Everything's fine. Okay, I wonder what it's like to live in Alaska. The only thing I know about Alaska, for real, is that um, it's really cold. I have got to make solid plans to see the Geminids. The Geminids. I wonder if Tyler'd want to go. Is Tyler hey, up? you want to freeze your ass off watching burning rocks fall through the sky? Yeah, I might need to work on my sales so pitch. This is by the same developer as Life is Strange, oh, right? right? I stashed them down here. So that's where you've been hiding. My name is Allison. All right. I think I'm ready to go now. One I'm kind of bummed because I feel like this is one of those games where like the music makes a huge over. impact, kind of I like in Life is Strange. Real people. But. Oh, YouTube is so I ridiculous. I really can't wait to force Tyler to watch this with me. He's totally going to hate it. You can't, This is the second time you've mentioned Tyler. Is Tyler our sibling or is Tyler a friend? A bae? Like, okay, we need to get the house keys. Did I not? I have right. them. I think I'm ready to go now. Police Chief Brown asks council to reconsider budget. Let's just go around her laptop real quick and see I what's going on. I should probably check my email one more time before I go. No, Let's do it. I've already done that three times this morning. No? Okay. We won't, we won't check it then. We won't check it then. I just want to look at your stuff. I should probably get rid of this. I mean, I can stream it anytime I want. A journey but through the stars? It makes me happy just to look at the box. Y'all, I've barely started this game and I'm already in my feelings. All right, let's go. Let's go, honey. Sibling? Okay. Uh, Allie, she's gonna be so awkward. Dear Tyler, I know what you're thinking. A letter? Why all weird and formal? What's wrong with email? Well, I figured, hey bro, just wanted to give my twin a shout before reuniting after 10 years of swank juvies is more like letter territory. Okay, so Tyler went to juvie, like a juvenile detention center for killing their mom. Okay, whatever. You'll thank me when we're 90 and the machines have taken over and you still have something to read by candlelight. See? Always thinking ahead. Anyway, I can't believe you'll be out for real in a few weeks. What? Amazing. I'm definitely going to be awkward when I see you, so please try not to notice, okay? How's your last month going? Are you sad about leaving your mentees? I bet they're going to miss you. I got my tires to please, so I'm all good to pick you up. And you can save the snark when you see my ride. She's been through a lot, and we can't all be car guys. Anyways, the Vecchies let me take the day off so we can go straight to the old house and get it ready for the sale and everything. Can't wait to never think about that place again. I really can't wait to see you. I don't know if I made that clear. Love you, Allison. Ah, okay. So we have a pretty cool sister. I'm about to leave this room for the last time. Okay. I'm this is juvenile hall. Head. I just need to grab my goblin and I'm off. This is juvenile. This is a juvenile detention center. This nice ass, big ass room. Bye, Herbert. Hey, little guy. You're gonna be reunited with your sister soon.
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cool. I guess I'm totally ready to go now. I'm gonna go ahead and take a wild shot in the dark. Their mom was an asshole and did not approve of Tyler transitioning. That's my assumption. Can we pick this up? Take me, this box of junk is now yours. Okay. That's so cute, we're leaving stuff behind for the next person. All right, what does this say? Um, you know I'm bad at this, but just wanted to say you've been the best counselor and at risk yet redeemable youth could want. Thanks for putting up with me and helping in more ways than you know. I'll try to make it count outside fireweed. Survival is rebellion. Thanks, man. Hmm. I really wish I knew if the music was copyrighted or not. I probably should have watched. I didn't want to watch somebody else playing it though, but I probably could have just opened up any YouTubers playthrough and seen whether or not they have music playing or not. We have tomorrow's for a reason. Our sister's picking us up for Juvie. Love that for us. This game inspired me to love and hang out with my sister more. Uh, Yanni, thank you so much for using your prime on me. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. That's like a couple of primes we've had today. I'm very, very honored. Hi, Tyler. Hi. First time we see each other in 10 years and it's hi, Tyler. Oh, sorry. Why haven't you I, seen each other in 10 fine, years? Allison. Hi is a good place to start. God, it's good to see you. Why haven't you seen each other in 10 years? <sighs> Likewise. He's, he's clearly not in prison. You have anything else you need to get? No, this is it. Like, I'm pretty sure there's a swimming pool in, in the backyard. Then we should get going. We just have time to make the morning ferry. You look good in that. Thanks. One of my mentees designed it. It's really good. Yeah, he's so incredibly talented. I got a couple of local coffee shops to hang his art. Tyler Ronan, shaping the leaders of tomorrow. Yep, we're screwed. <laughs> so, are you gonna miss anything about this place? Hell no. Nah. Hmm. The sweet taste of overcooked halibut. But seriously, y'all. Yeah. Apple cider is top tier. For a while, you know. Oh. Yeah, that that makes sense. I'm also really happy to never eat that halibut again. Are we planning to drive to Delos Crossing or push? You are welcome to walk. Nah, I'll take my chances. Need one last look or anything? Looked. Let's go. I like both of them so far. He was locked up. This does not look like a locked up situation. I see no bars on the windows. I don't understand why they didn't see each other for 10 years. But hey, I'll let it go. I'll let it go. It just started, Zavi. 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 You haven't missed anything. Well, that's not true. So, no, really. I am 100% not creative enough to make that stuff up. Oh, and just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. No way. Someone heard a commotion in the back of a delivery truck, so they opened it up, and there was the bear, fat and happy on a literal mountain of empty chip bags. <laughs> you go where the food is. Oh, I can relate to that. So then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. Um, this, oh, this game. Poor buddy. Shot in the ass just for this, getting the munchies. This game might hit me differently, yeah, well, actually. Now that you know what they say. It. Safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping them from getting shot. The bear is fine, Tyler. For now. You hear they've been talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting again? 
higher bag limits, inhumane ground traps, even bringing back hibernation hunting. What kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? Why are you smiling? I'm being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. Not yet, but at least I got the school part out of the way. <sighs> I can't believe you got a bachelor's already. While I boast a half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card number. You'll Her underachieving you twin, a little bit. How are you feeling? Like I'm about to drive straight into a whiteout and my fog lights are dead. So, um... Oh, I wish I could hear what the music sounded like. Um, what about you? Allison? Oh, zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry. I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me, on our way to Delos. You don't have to apologize. We're here for moral support? It's a lot. All y'all keep telling me this game is going to make me cry, dude. Why did we take the ferry instead of the coast road? Because I didn't want to be stuck in the car with you for an extra two hours. So... Ha ha. <laughs> we have to take the ferry. It's the only way to reach Delos from Fireweed. I see. Well, good. I don't think my stomach could have taken two more hours of how you handle curves. I'm sorry. Do you want to take over driving when we so... dock? So... <laughs> no. You're going to have to get back behind that wheel at some point, you know. Look, I put a Fireweed van nose first in a ditch. Hey. At least you missed the porcupine. I have to Google this. I'm guessing things haven't changed much. You mean in Delos? Still the capital of East Jesus nowhere. Can't wait to get out of here. If I were you, I'd keep my expectations low. Was it really that bad? Pretty much. But it could definitely have been worse. Like if you'd been tucked away in a center for troubled youth? Right. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Good. Good, good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and helping his clan organize a potlatch. Is that... Smoke coming out of Stonehouse? Sorry, I'm really trying to figure out if the music is copyrighted or not. Guess or if it's royalty free. It. You remember all if somebody could Google that for me, that'd be helpful. Uh, so I can pay attention ish. to the game. Because it's throwing me off. I would like to listen to the music if I can. So, we're really going back there, huh? To Stonehouse? I mean, we're going Alaska home. Alaska seems yeah. super beautiful. Yeah, we are. On a side note. Will sell? No interested buyers yet. Turns out people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. I heard that Alaska is <laughs> the only state in America where Unlike most Juno. people walk. Hey, Juno has going. mountain views aplenty. It just also has people and fun. Are you still thinking you might be my roomie? I'm thinking about it. Hey, can I ask you a question? Shoot. I was told, um, I mean, after you, well, graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago, you still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more, but it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just being an overly invested sister. Curious how you spent your time. So... We're doing little chit-chat things. Like, hey bro, haven't seen you in 10 years. Since you... Unalived our Allison. mother. Yeah? Spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. 
What is it? What is that? It's a gift. From Eddie. I know he's not your favorite person, but... I'm sorry. When you said Eddie, I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty, don't... And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. The Fireweed Administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah, Wait, So was well, it seven it years wasn't. or ten years? It's a peace offering. And you're the two most important people in my life. Please. For me. He can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap-ass trinket. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift-giving means in Clinket culture, and what it means to refuse one. We'll accept it. We'll accept it. Fine. I'll take it, but I'm not going to wear it. Really? Really. Just so we're clear, this was for you, not Chief Brown. You know, you could call him Eddie, or even Uncle. <laughs> Hard pass. She's doing a little too much. Okay. Um, no ads being on the on the video doesn't Did mean you anything. Hear that? Every video on YouTube has ads. There's no way around it. I'm gonna try it for this. For this one and then if this one gets demonetized then i'll just turn it off for future streams because i really 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 want to hear the music in this game okay hikes let's do it Walls the wall whoa there's no place like home yeah oh, that made the game so much better would it ruin the moment if i said i needed to call home uh, yes. Yes. Completely. She, okay, she's annoying sorry. me. She's triggering me. And stop apologizing all the time. Okay, sorry. <sighs> Thanks. All right. We're playing as Tyler. So, okay, you guys, I'm about to tell you it's something. so weird being back on this boat. And I might regret telling you this. But I'm an open book. Can I tell y'all everything anyway? How are you? Um, the reason why... I was saying that this game might hit differently for me. Um, hmm. Impressive, ain't she? You planning to land a moose with that? Good eye. Drawing a bull tag. What a waste of a good pun. Um. So this game is about two siblings, right? Who haven't seen each other in a long time in their relationship. I have three siblings. Maybe more. And one of them I have not seen Since like nineteen ninety seven, maybe, and another one I haven't seen since two thousand nineteen, and then another one I had not seen for a year until a couple days ago for Christmas. Um, so that's that's why I'm saying like this might hit a little bit different just because it, this is kind of relevant to my life. Gas in a winter formal? Fancy. Wait, wasn't that Allison's high school? December 12th, 2015. <sighs> Canoe for sale. What's the 
devil's club tea. This looks like a really let's learn how to harvest and process devil's club to make tea. Um, no, I don't need y'all. I'm not. Thank you for saying sorry, but it's 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 no one's. Well, it's not my fault. Um, but. It is a little, what did this sign say? Do not enter. It is a little bit, um, I think I'm gonna sit in the car for the rest of the ride. No, no. Yeah, let's stay out here. Let's stay out here. You're right, I'll stay on deck. Um, let's take a look at this view. So like, here's the thing about family, right? There's like degrees of family. I, would, I don't need to tell you this. There's like the family that you, you talk to. There's the family that, you know, you grow apart perhaps. This family is complicated. Family is probably one of the most complicated things that's ever existed. This is really pretty. Let's go talk to our sister. We haven't seen her in a decade. Oh, let's talk to this fool. What's up, dude? Where are you headed? Uh, Delos Crossing. We are in his Same face. Here. You from around here? Born and Born bred. And bred. Ah, you don't say. I moved to Anchorage around your age. Delos was mostly Alaskan natives then. Clink it, hide up. I haven't I'm trying been to see how close I could get to him. Ah, my sister's planning to move to Juneau. Good for her. Most folks I know never tried living anywhere else. Winter, how you doing, baby? Alex, by the way. Alex Gershwin. No how relation. you been, Winter? Huh? To George Gershwin. Um. Gershwin, the pianist. He's folks actually boring me so much. Let's go talk to our sister while he mumbling to himself. While he talking to himself. What's up, sis? You ain't got nothing to say to me? We haven't seen each other in a decade. You ain't got nothing to say to me? Like, what's your favorite food? Nothing? Got you. Are we almost there? Yeah? Yeah, we're almost there. That was nice. A nice little calm ride across the lake. I could smell his breath. You could not smell his breath. We were not that, were we that close? Maybe we were that close. Some people, when you be talking to them, whether you know them or not, they be Let's so go. close to your face. To car, and it's like, what happened to personal space? That is one of my biggest pet peeves. Is when like, let's say I'm at a checkout lane at a grocery store or something. And the person behind me is on my neck. I don't like it. I don't know you. You should not be able to smell the fragrance of my hair when I don't know you. It was COVID close, Sadie's. I love how real the game look. I'm actually playing on like high settings, which is something I don't think I've ever done before. So I appreciate how they optimize this game for, for May. They did it for May. So they're not identical twins, right? They're fraternal. So Raven, thank you for the visa for 15 months. 15 months of us being in a relationship exclusively. I 
feel like I should be wearing like a my hoodie up or something. Yeah, I should not be able to hear you breathing if you're that close to me. She's in her emo era? You know I am. Mom, you don't understand me. Wow. It's basically exactly like I remember it. Only faded. Like a Polaroid left on a windowsill. From the outside, it almost looks charming. It actually breaks my heart that some of y'all might not know what a Polaroid is. Structural integrity may be an issue. You think there's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down? If someone buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. You wouldn't care at all? Would you? Sure. Everywhere I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Allison, we could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. The only way to get this done is to do it. Did they say why they're doing this all of a sudden? Clearing out their childhood home? And why they're doing it first thing, straight After off the boat? You. Did somebody else die? I'm not even gonna hold you. This place is a shit, shit heap. Uh, did you smoke something before you left Fireweed? <sighs> Locked. Well, For people who don't know, there's people who don't know this. what cassette tapes are. People who don't know what vinyl records you are. Sure, that's the right key. People who don't know what A-Tracks are, or Atari, yes. or... Maybe someone changed the lock. Um, who would change the other lock things? Goes? I don't know. That are like 30 plus years old? You got a plan B? Yeah, we find another way in. I never knew a locked door that could keep the crafty goblins out. Yeah, we had a million ways in and out of this old house. At least one of them's gotta work. So, something that's interesting. Crafty goblins. I haven't thought about them in forever. Or should I say, us? We almost spent more Can time we... as goblins than we did as kids. Oh, do you? Doesn't seem like the greenest source of energy. Not like she had the money for solar panels. At least we don't have any use for this right now. Luckily. Remember the snowstorm in 2004? Marianne had us digging for hours. I remember she made it a game, at least. That's right. We made tunnels to escape the ice troll. Gotta hand it to her. She can make us do anything if she turned How it into a goblin How do we get in this tear. damn house, bro? I want hair like this? I used to have hair like Open this. Open sesame. Sort Let of. Guess. It's locked. Yup. Know any other secret passwords? Hmm. Honeydew? <laughs> nope. There's not a secret key in here or anything, right? So, any idea how we're gonna get in? Hmm. We used to play under the house when we were kids. Yeah, we stashed all our goblin treasure down there. Hi, Teresa. There was a hatch, right? That opened up into the laundry room? There was. I hope I can still fit. I'm a little taller than I was at 11. What did they say about the laundry room? Remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost? And she all What'd you find? Our hidden treasure? Seriously? How do we think to stash it there? Goblin secrets are always well kept. Can we get through? Is that something that we're gonna try and do? I guess not. Um, but what's really strange? At least the shed's still standing. Yep. 
is I got so I did one of those genealogy well, things better alive like than dead. forever ago. Hey, it's locked, all right. Um, that tells you like your ethnicity makeup and like what was she doing? It tells you a bunch of stuff, like whether or not you're allergic on, to chocolate or whether or not you have a gene that doesn't like cilantro. Like it, it's very intense. And randomly, I can't believe these are still here. Maybe yeah. a week ago, I got an them. email so frighten away potential buyers. from the site saying that my brother, who I have not seen in like 25 years, uh, wants to connect with me. I could break a window. You know, civilized people don't do that, right? Oh, just Bro. let me break a window. So we're civilized now. Oh. So I'll Maybe be not. I'll be interested but to see whether or not this, this game and broken windows aren't exactly amenities. Will make me want to respond. Seriously though, have I not? Okay, should we check this shed that's way in the back? Like I understand y'all didn't have money or whatever, and y'all were like a little bit destitute, but this is a nice ass house. This is nice. Maybe there'll be like a key in here? I don't know. Ah. You really want to go out nope. there? Just kidding. No, you're right. Why won't you let me crawl in the crawl space, bro? Hi, Zar. How are you doing? Oh, shit. Hey. Do you need a hand with that? Yes, I do. No, it should be fine. Okay. If we just get this board out of the way, I could probably squeeze through. So Are they poor? Maybe I just made that up. Off. Because of like uh, the condition of the house. Uh, Maybe I made that up. It's screwed in pretty good. We need a screwdriver. Alright, I got you. We'll find a screwdriver in the shed. At least the shed's still standing. Yep. Can we open it? I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh. Yes. Hey, it's locked, all right. You never heard what okay. in your life? Should be something in here that'll work. Hey, I see a screwdriver. Now all we need to do is get inside. Wait, I um, I'm feeling something strange. What? Don't leave this room until everything looks as clean as a whistle. Ugh. This is the millionth time I've gotten in trouble because of you. You and your big mouth. Hey, you were thinking the same thing. You just weren't brave enough to tell her. What good would it do? It's not like she ever listens to us anyway. Well, I'd rather scream it right in her stupid face than be a quiet little mouse. Oh, we forgot the key. We need to put it back. Maybe we could hide it somewhere. You know, for fun. Goblins are supposed to help the princess, not play mean tricks. Whatever, you're not fun. I'm only trying not to make her even worse. Whoa, did that just happen? I don't know, but I saw it too. It felt That's like it wild. did when we used to share thoughts with our voice. It did, but that was a memory of us 10 years ago, right? I, I vaguely remember it happening. I think so. And uh, that's new, right? Yeah. It is so cute. We could share thoughts and feelings, but we never replayed memories like that. Why would it happen? And why that memory? I don't know. It's pretty eerie. It's weird, but our voice was always a good thing. This could be too. I'm feeling something again. Near the barn. Yeah, me too. At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think the about barn. Be living inside it, though. The barn. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh, yes. Let's Are you going to show me wonder. where the barn is? Funny else to do first. Because apparently this is the shed. Go oh, see the, the silent frog. 
I'm coming. I'm coming. What? Stop sulking. I told you already. I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> okay. Guess you don't want to see what I put in the treasure room then. What? No, I want to see. I guess we know where to search now. We just have to remember which one is the silent frog. Silent frog. The one in the middle. So, which one of you is hiding the key? Damn, where's the key? Seriously? Kidding. Oh, come on. Hey, we got it. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. It's the only frog with their hands above their mouth. Nice job mouth. keeping the secret, buddy. We solved our first situation. Love it. Nikki, no, there's one trans character who I'm playing and their name is Tyler. And then Tyler has a sister named Allison. Oh no, why am I taking this? I need, no, don't pick that up. Who left this box Don't take here? that up. Pick up the screwdriver, new. please. It Thank you. Me. Has someone been out here recently? Got it. So thank you so much for 22 months. You got a better idea how to get in? Ew, ew, ew. Can I get some hearts into the chat, please? A better suit in the 22 minutes. 22 is my favorite number. No other number can possibly compare to the number 22. Hi, Tasha. Who you said? Ooh, yet another good game. I'm not. I'm. I'm gonna roll. I'm not gonna play no games for a while. That no bad games for a while. I'm only gonna play the sure game go for at there? least a couple months. This was our very first den, remember? Who knows what lives down we there? We played now. a couple of horrible games in December and November. Everything okay down there? Low key, I, I'm thinking about replaying The Walking Dead. I haven't played <gasps> it in three years. Oh, that's not funny. <laughs> then why am I laughing? Okay, fine, but you're still an idiot. And Detroit as well. All right, I'm going in for real this time. After a while. Okay, I'll see you at the front door in a few minutes. I just got hit with like an unbelievable feeling of gratefulness. Thank y'all so much for being here and hanging out with me. Are you okay? I'm always continually surprised I that like, head like an idiot. there's so many people Wait. who stream. What? Where are you? And so many of y'all make it a point to come to I'm every outside. stream. But I can hear you in my head. Our voice. It's back. Holy shit. I uh dragons. Straight ahead. Need to go left, I think. Left of here? Okay. You were right. Nothing here. Of course I was. Not here? No? So cute. Does it say, here be dragons? Then left again after the goblins. I would love that because I can watch my old Walking Dead streams. Yeah, I don't think there's... I don't think those streams exist anymore. I love y'all too. We are the crafty goblins. Yes, we are. Nope. It was on the right. My bad. Does this one say goblin den? Past the treasure. Straight, Straight ahead. ahead. You know, I almost convinced myself our voice was just another child of fantasy. Me too. We really are con mad hunter. Why am I still afraid to say his name? He was Marianne's creation. She made all the creepy characters. Hey, okay, we're finally in the house.
So you're amusing, Jess. You're amazing. That's my man right there. Man, it's like... So when what happened happened, did they just leave the house? Like, just like that? Left all their memories and possessions in this house for 10 years? Tyler, are you in there? Aw, oh, you're having happy Tyler. memories. I was afraid that coming. they would come in the house and like be triggered. Are you okay? I'll live. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah, same here. So, coming in or what? Just working up to it. Why is this so hard for her? And not so much for Tyler. Well, we're here. Who's the one that went to kid prison? Here we are. So, how do we get started? We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and see what else this house might be trying to show us. Tropic, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm wow. not even reading. It doesn't seem real. Hold on. What button is it to look at stuff? Um, do, 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 do. Is there a journal? No. Oh, yeah, I'm pressing tab. Nothing's happening. Of course. Tab. Tab. No lights, tab. No power. Tab. 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 Machine repair. We got bills and stuff on a laundry room. This is an interesting layout. Swanky. I didn't realize how much I missed the smell of firewood. I miss the cold winter nights curled up here with big mugs of hot cocoa. Yeah. Marianne was so tired she was usually asleep on the couch. Ah, that's why it was so nice. No, Marianne. That was the one time we were ever quiet. We knew she needed to sleep. We all needed her to sleep. Here's the thing. I, I'm a really like, I don't know if the word is sentimental or not, but I'm not someone who can keep reminders of people who, who are no longer in my life around. Like, it's she was actually to kind of way before Al Gore bad. Made it cool. Has Al Gore ever made anything cool? Nah. I guess she was right about one thing, but you can't really blame anyone for not listening to crazy Marianne Ronan. For example, like let's say you were in a relationship and you have pictures of you in Bay. I'm 100% the kind of person who will delete every single picture. She took so many pictures. Yeah, like she had to document every second of our lives. It made her happy, and it was kind of nice to see her smile. I guess. You okay? All these happy pictures. They look so sad now. So staged. I know. I could never, like, I'm really bad about it. Let me give you an actual example. Uh, I remember I was dating someone, um, like a long time ago, and they had gotten me a necklace from Tiffany's. And 
and I don't know if we had broken up yet or like right before we broke up, but I threw it away in the dumpster. Like it never even occurred to me to sell it, to give it back. I threw it away. I don't want to see it. Hey mom, we are sorry the vase got broke. We didn't know you love it so much. We need to be careful and not act up in the window room. Next time we will try and use good judgment. Please forgive us for doing bad things. I'm sorry too. We should be more careful. I'm very sad we made you cry so much. We should play I'm outside sure it's instead. still there. I should check our bedroom upstairs. I will tell Ollie not to be wild all the time. We aren't going to do it anymore. We are sorry. All right, let's go upstairs to the window room, I guess. And look for something. Not quite sure what- What are you reading? A letter we wrote her. To apologize for breaking that stupid face, remember? Bore your kids into good behavior. The light around the Great screen means to play strategy. space bar? Ew. My bad. Old textbooks. Tessa gave them to us, right? Yeah, she thought we were gifted. <laughs> we were. Just not like she thought. You think she knew we were sharing answers? We shared for fun. We both knew them all anyway. Interesting space bar. Here we go. Um, Mom, about me joining the hockey team? Tip. Mom. Sorry, what? Uh, not now. Maybe next year. But you promised. Keep whining and my next year will become never. Can you cut my hair? Your hair is fine. But I want to cut it short, really short. What? Look, I'm tired, and I'm busy. Let's talk about this later. You always say that. Marianne said no to everything. Made me so pissed. She was always on edge those last few months. Yeah, and completely deaf to everything I was telling her I needed. She pretty much always said no to me, too. True, but it felt personal with me. Um, let's go upstairs. But, like, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. Especially, like, I, I mean, specifically, like, if, like, not so much of, like, that person. I'm trying to think of how to say this. For me, I don't want if reminders of someone. If you don't come up someone. soon, I'm gonna take whatever I want from our bedroom. No way! Wait for me. Who I feel has no this hurts me. This feels like home. If you've hurt me, then no, I don't. I throw away anything that reminds you know, me of you. One thing Every you picture, give any gift you've ever given me. Artistic side. You should have seen Eddie's face when I anything. tried to repaint his car. Yeah. Number I deleted, bet Uncle of course. Eddie didn't appreciate your artistic. Look what I found. It's just too what? painful to Only like, our greatest creation, the Book around. of Goblins. <laughs> Seriously? It was in that chapter. Oh, now stories. we can do Beat of Goblins. I had ideas for so many more. Marianne wrote a lot of them. Yeah. It's one of the only times I remember her being at peace. Oh my god. Are we going to get to read children's stories? The frog earns the right to speak. Oh my gosh, should I read these? These are so long though. The bear and the princess. This is so adorable. So like they created these fantastical stories. The princess's party. I'll read one of them real quick. I'll read one of them. I'll read the first one. <clears throat> you got your hot cocoa? Once upon a time in an ancient in deep forest, there lived a big frog in a small pond. Oh, that makes it easier. She was a peaceful creature who spent most of her time eating, swimming, and sleeping. From the morning to the evening, she did everything the smaller frogs did, except she did it bigger. She ate more. She jumped farther. She was smarter, and she made much more noise. 
Is this me? We're talking about me? <laughs> everybody in the forest could hear her loud croaking and everybody was happy that they could. You see, it was easy to get lost in the forest. But thanks to the frog's loud noises, you could just as easily find your way back to her pond. Maybe it would not have been the same if the big frog had kept singing during the night, but she was much too lazy an animal to stay after dark. One day, an unknown visitor came to the forest for the first time. It was a young woman dressed in a beautiful gown. She was walking fast through the woods as if she was running away, and she never looked back. Many eyes spied the princess pass by, but no one dared to help her, for the mad hunter was on her trail. This is not our business, they said. We had better look away, for the mad hunter was an unyielding man who loved nothing but hunting down prey for money and glory. Nothing could escape his piercing eye for long. So the princess walked alone without help until she was hopelessly lost in the big forest. Exhausted, she pressed on with no idea of where she was heading as the hunter drew ever closer, dragged in his pursuit. She continued this way until she heard a heavy croaking far off to her left, so clear and loud that the princess immediately made for the source of the noise. A few minutes later, she reached the big frog in the small pond, and the frog looked at her with a gentle smile. Help me, please, said the princess. I need a place to rest and to hide. Ribbit, answered the frog, and the princess frowned. Please stop making noise. The mad hunter is after me. Ribbit, said the frog again, so loud that the princess had to cover her ears. The creature began to jump every which way. What are you doing? asked the princess. Stop all that noise or he will find us. But the frog kept croaking and jumping around her, left and right, up and down, ribbit, ribbit, until the princess understood the meaning of all this fuss. Cautiously, the woman climbed on the back of the big animal, and then with a leap, the frog set off away from the pond. The frog jumped so high and so far that even the hunter could not find where the princess had gone. With a few jumps, the princess was out of his piercing eye. A few jumps more and she had vanished for good. The princess closed her eyes and let her clever mount carry her wherever the creature pleased. Less than an hour later, the big frog had reached the other side of the ancient forest, near the shores of the very deep lake. There she landed without a noise in front of a big wooden house that had been abandoned. Thank you, said the princess, covering the animal's snout with kisses. I only wish you could speak so I would have understood what you were trying to do sooner. As she pronounced those words, something incredible happened. The big frog was suddenly able to speak. Her first words startled the princess. The Mad Hatter is always at my heels. Now you're safe and I've had my revenge. You can stay in this house. It has been abandoned for a long time and no one will look for you here. And then without looking back, the big frog jumped back to the pond. And this is how the big frog saved the princess and how she earned the right to speak. Ah, uh, where is it? You looking for something in particular? My diary. You never told me about it. Yeah, with the way Marianne was, I tried extra hard to keep it a secret. Marianne. Yeah, that day she found out about it. Mom? Mom! My inner child is so Mom, warm right where now. where is it? What did you do with it? <sighs> what now? I can't find my diary. I know you stole it. Give it back. Sweetie, 
Whatever I do, it's just for your benefit. You read it, didn't you? You had no right to do that! I have the right to do whatever I need to protect my little girl. I'm not your girl! I hate you! You will always be my little girl. And no matter how hard you fight me, I'll fight twice as hard to keep you safe. saw it coming. She told me right to my face. She was willing to hurt me to keep me from transitioning. Tyler, there is no way you could have known she'd go that far. diary back. Her room was the only place I didn't look. Okay, but do you need to get it, like, now? That diary was important to me, Allison. Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. Well, then let's go find it. You think her room is still locked? I don't know it was. I'm not looking forward to going in there. I know, but we'll have to eventually, and I need it back. Um. Ice King finally caught the hag. His furious voice could be heard throughout the forest. For your wickedness, you will be eternally bound to the lake. What? No way. Quiet, let me finish. You will no longer be allowed to leave. Not even under a full moon. The moon hag was imprisoned in the lake, and she never again tried to escape. Hmm. Hmm. And then the title. What do you think? Not bad, right? Uh, I guess that's okay. But I would have changed the end. What? No way! Ice King. I totally forgot about him. That's because it was dangerous to mention his name. He was too powerful. All right, let's go to your mom's room, which I'm guessing is the master bedroom downstairs. Um, so, surprisingly, I'm relating to this game again. Um, it's not the same. I'm a cisgendered woman, and I've never questioned that. Um, but I remember when I came out to my mom, uh, she didn't, she didn't believe me, like, that I was queer, and I remember her telling me when I first came out to her that, um, it was okay, or no, it wasn't okay, she said, um, everything would be fine because she could pray it away. Um, I remember her exact words were, Mercedes, you're lucky you have a mother that prays. Diary's probably in Marianne's room. I should go check. Um, and it is an incredibly Hold isolating up. feeling. What? To like know who remember you this? are. Uh, unfortunately. And you must solve my riddle to earn the right to enter the princess's sanctum. Nothing a good hard shove won't take care of. I mean, yes, we could brute force it, but it might be kind of fun to finally solve it, right? We have different definitions of the word fun. Okay, well, if we break it, we're just gonna have to fix it for the sale. So let's at least try not to. You have the Book of Goblins? Yep. Hand it over. What are you looking for? But the image on the door, it's making me think of a story from the book, one that Marianne wrote. You have a way better memory than me. It's like wild how well, like the person the who's supposed to love creation. you the most in the and world you'll never let anyone won't forget let it. you be who you are. 
So I relate to Tyler in that Here way. Here it is. The one about the princess's party. Scale. Give it a read. I think the symbols may represent All right. something in the First puzzle. Let's solve it. First ghost memories. Now storybook puzzles. What a weird day. What a weird Is it? Childhood. I've never heard of a door in a home that required you to solve a puzzle to open it. Okay, hold on. So this is the princess and the frog. Perfect. Okay. 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 I just read this story. Does this turn? Okay, they turn. So we've got frogs and bears and geese and a moose. Okay. So the symbols. Hmm. Bear. Are we gonna, let's just go by like the order in which they're presented in this story. So we have a bear first. And I could be doing this completely wrong though. Um, frog. Hmm. Which story is it? I wonder. Okay, looking at all the stories, the princess and the two thieves, the princess's party, the goblins in the ice cave. Hmm. You got this? I'm gonna try. This part always gets to me. Huh, I wonder if that's correct. Frog, then bear, then beaver? I don't, I have no idea if that's even remotely what I'm supposed to be doing, but let's try it. And then, is that a beaver? It's close to a beaver. Oh, uh, nope. I think I'm just gonna force this open. You sure? We're not in a rush. No, 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 no. We'll don't, have don't, to fix it. don't, don't, don't. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. All right, one more try. We'll figure it out. It's just like there's a shitload of stories, bro. Um, do, 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 do. Like, what are we going by? Can we just guess shit? Y'all talking about Neo? This game will be triggering? Yes. Another disclaimer, y'all. Another disclaimer. Oh, Lord, that gets dark. That gets dark. And that is how the moose came to teach the crafty goblins to fish. The moose and the goblins. Maybe. Hold on. Hmm. No. Does it make like a sound when I get one right? I made some sort of a sound. That's not it. I just, I don't know. I do not know. I'm about to force this hole open. Cause there's a million freaking animals in this book and a million freaking stories. <clears throat> Princess party, perfect. Princess party. Uh, Let's see, 
Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, the princess was melancholy. Because it was the one-year anniversary of when she had to run away from home. Sensing her sadness, her forest friends showed up her door. They were headed by the pelican, pious and attentive, and organized by the moose, stalwart, and farsighted. The old bear was there, with his claws so sharp, as well as the big frog prattling away. Even the haughty muskrat, who mostly came out at night, had come. The bear invited her to ride on the back, promising no wolf would harry her path. And then the animals led her to a fairy glen, where a fabulous party had been prepared. Hmm. She opened the second box. The princess thought about her friends, and then she smiled certainly. Fairies, she said. I may have been thoughtless, but I appreciate all that my friends have given to me and all they have done for me. She gave her answers and the vexed fairies were forced to restore the party in a flash of colorful light. So she was talking about a moose, a bear, a frog, and a muskrat. The moose had arranged after clouds filled the sky and the gregarious frog mixed up fizzing drinks. Does any of that help? What I'm going to be doing right now. Did any of that help? Let's try a moose, a muskrat. Well, bro, they're all in the story. I love how creative this game is. Every single one of these animals is in the story. Um, hold on. Pelican, moose, and a bear. Let's sure. Why not? Let's try that. Let's try that. Um, this is this close to a pelican that I see. Pelican, moose, bear. Nope, that's not it. Um, do, 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 do. All right, the princess opened the first box. It was a torch. She opened the second box. It was a sword, right? As evidenced by the pictures on the bottom left corner. Yeah, I'm going to force this open. I have no clue what this game is trying to tell me to do. Necklace. Um, because I did pelican moose bear and it's not opening. Are you sure you're gonna be able to crack it? No, I'm not. Give me some help. I uh need some help. I've got a few ideas. Okay, I read the story. What was I supposed to get from that? Look at the wheels. The symbols are the same as the animals in the story. Mm hmm. Yeah. And the princess had to guess who'd given her the presents. Yes, I bet we have to do the same thing. Thank you for sharing your wisdom, Master okay. Allison. The wheels, symbols on the wheels. And the princess had to guess who gave her everything. So who gave her the torch? Let's let's figure this out. Um, do, 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 do. Tie a party, the presents. Guess we'll have each one, and you get your presents back. The principal in the first box, there was a torch when lit. The truth revealed the truth. Someone wants to make sure I didn't get lost in the woods when it's dark. Which one of my friends would give me a present like that? A present from someone who doesn't want you to get lost in the dark. That would be... Fuck if I know. Fuck if I know. Um, second box, the magic sword, which would leap right out of the bear's hand to defend them. Someone wants to make sure I'm protected. And then someone makes wants to make sure I have money to buy food when I'm hungry and clothes when I'm cold. Let's see. Do do do.
Okay. Pelican, who's attentive. The moose, who is farsighted. The old bear. So the bear is the protection, I guess. The muskrat at night. So is the muskrat first? Which I guess this is a muskrat. And then, hold on. The sword was second. So that would be the bear, I'm guessing. And then last was the money. Somebody who would meant to make sure that she's protected. And that she'd always be able to buy clothes. Um, the pelican? Y'all! I do not know! I do not know. I'm gonna try one more time. I'm gonna try one more time. My gosh, this is taking forever. The first box, god damn it, is um the torch. Make sure you don't get lost in the woods. So that's why I picked the muskrat, because it's the muskrat only comes out at night, but maybe I'm mistaken. And then someone who's protected under a threat. So the bear has the claws, so sharp. Who almost never had time for anyone. Do, 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 do. do you want the answer? Sure. Because I do not know. I do not know. Someone to make sure that she always had what she needed. Never mind, I got it. I got it. The moose at night. The moose at night. The moose at night. The moose at night. Got it. Thank you for offering, though. And boom, we're in. How was the lights on? But of course it'd be the moose at night. Of course it is. That's the only time you see a moose, really. <laughs> Y'all are so happy for me. You can do it. After so many years, I expected this to feel more, you know, like a win. Hi, Puppy Chan. Speak for yourself. I'm the one who solved the riddle. Hey, Urban, can we do a prediction on Twitch? Why do I feel like you're not going to let me forget that? I want y'all's points. Where do you think we should start looking? Yeah, thank you so much. I'll let you choose. It could be petty. I don't know. Where in this mess would she stash someone else's personal thoughts? Like whether or not I'll be able to solve the next puzzle quicker. Okay, let's find your diary. Uh, oh shit. Sewing lessons were the absolute. Let's look at our memory. She made all our clothes. I just can't get through. Whatever's going on. They won't let me in. Oh, they used to tell me everything, but they shut me out, Tessa. They shut me out. I've had so much on my plate lately, and... And... They're convinced I'm the enemy, and I don't know why! Here's the... Here's the I thing. And I probably shouldn't say this, but I see both sides of this. I remember now. At this point in the story, crying. I don't see the mother as a villain. The door. Seeing her like this, as if she's still. That could here. be my trauma talking. This really sucks. But she was really coming at this apart point in the story, months, wasn't she? I don't know what she's gonna do, and I don't know what she's gonna say. I think she's heavily flawed. But I think she thinks she's doing the right thing for these it's kids. It's here. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Do you think she read it? Of course. She was nosy as hell. I can't imagine having privacy as a kid. All my shit got ran through. Always. 
Well, I think it's important for kids to have privacy. Like, it's important for them to, like... Oh, shit. Virtue Seekers Youth Camp? Oh, was she gonna send Tyler to... One of those... Conversion camps? Yeah, I want to rob you. Tyler. <laughs> Tyler. What? Look. The Alliance for Traditional... What is it? What? Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. But it doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? She was mad I, I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was mad and she attacked you. We both saw it. Then what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. Tyler... Come here. She can't do this to me. Not now. When I've finally made sense of a few things. Damn, so she was trying? Oh, she was trying to was understand what mistake, was happening? Thinking the world made any kind of sense. <laughs> Ten years in the grave. And she's still finding new ways to piss us off. Yeah. Y'all really hate y'all mama, huh? Y'all really hate y'all mama. I think I need some air. That is the one thing I am clear on in this game. No, it definitely doesn't justify her behavior. Nothing would justify her behavior. She's abusing her children. Damn. Maybe she had the book to look up what not to do. Or maybe she was gonna do the opposite. Maybe she really is a villain. That's what they said, Corey. I wonder if they're going to show what happened. I mean, they, they probably are going to show that scene. Are you really, really sure? I am. Do it. Okay, speaking of showing the scene, here we go. Okay. Uh, here we go. <laughs> It's a terrible haircut, bro. Oh. Is it all gone? Yeah. That's part of being a kid, is cutting your hair. I shaved off my eyebrows and cut my hair it a bunch of times. amazing. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to show mom. She's been so sad lately. More than sad. She's been scary. Yeah, but not tonight, though. It was almost like a party. Thank you, Allison. You don't have to thank me. You're my sister. I feel more like... like your brother. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. But I'm um, pretty Princey, sure I you. just gave you Please a sweet. really bad haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Mom? Fuck, Mom? I don't think I can watch this, bro. Oh my god, please, 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 please. Trigger warning, y'all. Trigger warning. I can, I can feel it. I can feel it. Oh, bro, 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 bro. Please, 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 please. Let this be like a misunderstanding somehow. <laughs> Oh, it can't be, but
that you're on drugs? <sighs> Mom? <gasps> Fuck! wrong this is all wrong oh she's gone Wait, either she's completely stop. had a mental break or what she didn't seem that angry now i'm confused Glad we found your diary. Me too. I guess she was trying to figure out where you were at. Yeah, well, she should have asked. I wasn't some goddamn research project, I was her child. What do I always say? Most people should not be parents. About this is a good example. Book. Raising your transgender child? Do you even know how rare these books were in 2005? Was she trying to figure out how to support me? Maybe. Which, she wasn't trying. She never... It right doesn't awkward. make sense, I know. You cutting your hair was what set her off, right? Allison, she read my diary. She already knew. It wasn't my hair. And if we were wrong about that, fuck. You think she read it. It's possible she never even opened the diary and that things are exactly like we always thought they were. But if she did and they aren't... God, Tyler. Sure. I mean, we could have been wrong. But what good does it do to ask the question now? You mean other than not the having to live with the matters. thought that my mom tried to kill me for being me? Tyler, I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll make it all make sense. But she was unhinged. So that's it then. She was crazy. Nothing else to say. I think we'd be better off if we tried to move on. Why don't we talk to a few people who knew her? See if that book makes any sense to them. People don't want to talk about Marianne. They pretend like that night never happened. Hmm. Must be nice to be able to forget. So, say we get our answers, and it becomes crystal clear Marianne didn't attack you because of your hair. What then? We deal with it when we get there. But knowing that would mean everything to me. Uh, I get it. What about Tessa? She was Marianne's closest friend. Let's ask her about it. Sure. But I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. Operative word was. But we need to go by the store anyway to get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this. But you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. So that's my question. I was thinking, what's the rush? Hmm? Do we need to be in such a rush to sell this place? We've been over this, and we both agreed it's time for a clean break. I know, trust me. I'm not talking about staying for long, just long enough to get some answers. And you think this house has those answers? Maybe not, but it's a place to start. <sighs> well, it would be a shame if there was something to find and we tossed it out. How about? We start digging without putting off the sale. And if it seems like we need more time, we'll talk about it then. Okay. Something wrong. We have a plan. So, we have a plan? Yep. We ask around about Marianne, but we also stick to our repair schedule. If that's really what you need. All right, deal. Okay. <gasps> It's been a long time since I heard that name. Was I the only one who ever called you that? Actually, no. I used it at Fireweed for a while, until I settled on Tyler. 
Most people were pretty chill about the Switch. Not everyone, though. What do you mean? I had a mentee who refused to call me Tyler. He didn't want my help. He didn't want anyone's help. I'm sorry. I like the name Tyler, by the way. Thanks. Mom and Allison argued again. At least I'm not the only one mom is screaming at now. Mom almost seemed jealous we didn't tell her what we were planning to do in the forest. Allie thinks we should tell her about our voice. I think she knows already. Mom seemed really upset when I asked to join the hockey team. Like it's wrong for me to play a boy's sport. I'm going to keep asking. I will try again next week. She said no again. I'm so mad at her. Why does she always say no? Why doesn't she ever let me do what I want to do? Allison and I started writing a story. Well, Allison did. She didn't like it when I tried to change anything. Why can't one of the goblins be a boy goblin? Saw Star Wars yesterday at Babby's place. Luke was so great, but mom found out we watched it and got so mad. She said it was glorified, gor gloried war. <laughs> Would mom be happier if I could do what she wanted me to? When she looks at when she looks at me, she doesn't see me. I wish I could show her. I wish I could make her understand. I think she doesn't want to. Allison told me again that it was my fault. Mom got angry at us. She is such a suck up. Mom's barely said anything to me in a few days. Allie says she saw her throwing away pages from the Book of Goblins. Do this, do that. I am sick of her voice and I am sick of that dumb name too. I'm Ollie the Goblin. Hi, Itzy. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome At in. At least the glacier's still there. You have to wonder just what kind of stories it could tell. You know, if it had a mouth. Remember the ice cave? The old bear's den? That's the one. It would have made a perfect secret base if we'd ever been able to find it again. You know, I actually went looking for it a few years ago. Really? No way. So? We found it, but the entrance had collapsed. Ah, bummer. Not a bad view, right? I forgot how beautiful it is. God, I miss snow, bro. Remember that time we tried to cross the lake after it froze over? Oh yeah, how can I forget? Marianne lectured us for an hour. Well, she wasn't wrong at least. It was really dangerous. If we'd fallen in, no more goblins. We grew up on this lake. It is a really we know how to game. spot thin ice. I, agree. I think I'd like to end up somewhere like this, just not here. Somewhere with more trees than people? Exactly. Just go into it with a little more of a plan than Marianne did. I think Marianne had a plan at some point. She had all that survivalist gear, a uh, mostly working generator. I think she was making it up as she went along. Maybe, but maybe that's just how she was at the end, after she lost it. <sighs> all right, I think that's enough time enjoying the view. I wasn't gonna say anything, but. Yeah, yeah, I know. I was the one all eager to go, and then I started waxing poetic about the landscape. Go ahead. I'll catch up. I need to respond to a message. Uh -huh. My sister, the social butterfly. <laughs> Angie, that I'm official. Seems we got a trespasser. Huh? What the fuck? You got five seconds to talk me into defending my property. Your property? Five. Four. I'm Tyler. No know any Tylers. Three. Two. Sam! Ellie? What are you doing out here, girl? Is that how this they are in Alaska? House. Was I talking to you? Is Alaska, Sam, Florida, with snow? put the gun down. This is Tyler. My brother. Well, your brother? 
Oh, shit. Huh. I guess I heard about all that, but I never... Damn. You look like a real man. So do you, Sam. You know what I mean. I just didn't know they could make a woman look so much like a man. Not a woman who looks like a man, Sam. A man. A real man, just like you. Period. Oh, shit. Yes, I'm the asshole again. <laughs> you gotta excuse us, old guys. I really don't. Hmm. Come on. You kids keep changing the rules. You can't expect us to keep up. Just respect the people are who they say they are. It's not hard. No, it ain't hard, but it just takes some getting used to. We'll get used to it, because we aren't going anywhere. So, what are you doing here exactly? Oh, well, yeah. You look like he eats spam kind of keeping and cheese whiz on, place on Ritz you, crackers you know? every night for dinner. Like patching the roof, checking the pipes, you know, all that stuff. Thank you, Sam. Oh, yeah, yeah it's, uh, that's no big deal. I just... You know, your mama, she was, uh, she was a special lady. She deserved much better than, you know, uh, what you got. You said that to him? Didn't you used to help Mary Ann with repairs and building projects? Oh, yeah. Yeah, seeing as your mama never had a man around, I just you know, took it on myself to help her keep this place standing. How antiquated of you. Thanks. I uh, guess you two are still aiming to sell the place? That's the plan. Which, by the way, we need your keys. Since apparently you went and changed the locks? Oh yeah, absolutely. But, uh, selling your mother's house? Are you sure? Bad or good? It's all you've got left of her. Um... Not all. I'm sure the gun she tried to kill us with is still somewhere in there. Tyler! What? What Tyler means is... Exactly what the fuck I said. what we both need. I mean exactly what the fuck I just said. This place has gotta be full of all kinds of bad memories. But maybe some good ones too? Can you hear me? Ty, we can't do this when we're in the middle of talking to someone. But this is pointless. He's hammered. He's always hammered. And who knows? Maybe it'll make him chatty. Now come on. People think our family is weird enough. Um, everything okay with you Did say any yes. stutter? No. Oh, all right. Should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? Okay, fine. Hmm. I guess I could ask him a few more questions. Okay. Did you help with her door? Her door? The puzzle on her bedroom door. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. You two kept sneaking in, giving her no privacy. That is so huh? weird. Like, like, your mother wants you to keep you it? away so much, she put yep. a puzzle on the door so Better you can't get in. Yes. But never also, it's kind of weird that y'all couldn't figure out that puzzle. I mean, not that I wanted to. I, I, uh... Because uh, so, I did uh, it. Guess <laughs> you know all your mama's secrets now, huh? Well, she may have one or two left. How well did you know her? Not as well as I thought. When I heard what happened that night, well, I figured people were bullshitting me. It really surprised you, didn't it? 
much as anything ever has. Other folks say they saw it coming. Not me. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? I already asked all the questions that you gave me as an option, sis. He's too wasted to be of any more help. I'll tell him to get a move on then. Is that something that well, twins can actually do? Like, is that a documented thing that some twins can do? Uncle Eddie's expecting a visit. Telepathy? So. Right. right. Is that the name yeah, of it? Yeah, of course. Uh, get going, you two. Um, Sam, we all got to get going. Oh, uh, of course. Of course, yeah, I got lots to it do is, myself. Okay. I, lots of to-dos on old Sam's list. And you don't want to keep Brown waiting, you know? <laughs> Thanks for... Looking out for this place. Happy to do it. I... Uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Anything at all. You hear? So he doesn't seem like a bad guy. He just seems ignorant. Sam? Huh? Uh, Sam? Huh? The keys? Oh, yeah. Of course. And drunk. Of course. Yeah, they're, they're yours. I, uh, uh, this place it meant a lot to your mother. It almost felt like it was a part of her. And, and it's like some part of her is alive here still. Can y'all imagine if I had a twin? Hopefully the house doesn't turn out to be a murderous psycho that tries to kill us in our sleep, huh? Uh, Lord. Yeah. Well, uh... Take care of yourself. Uh, Y'all think they was fucking? Both of you. Hey, so we really do have a lot to do. Okay. I'm just saying. Go on. I was giving right ex-lover energy. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Yo, do y'all see the couch? And how the armrests are engraved bears. Do you know what freaks me out since we're playing this game? I'm going to go ahead and let y'all know. Uh, when people hang. What's it called? When you, when you kill an animal and you stuff it. Taxidermy. Taxidermy is disgusting to me. Disgusting. Disgusting. And the fact that people will take their dead pets and preserve them and put them on like their fucking coffee table is actually wild. I cannot imagine. I cannot imagine. Who's this gentleman? Oh no, I cannot. Like people be like, I don't know, killing a deer and then mounting the deer head above their fireplace. It's like, I, first of all, I don't get hunting for sport, period. But I especially don't get it for that. Talk to Tessa. I wouldn't even go fishing for sport. Just try to keep in mind that your memory of her is 10 years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed. I always think it's did. funny, like, if you're on Tinder or, like, any dating app. So I'm guessing this is Michael? Guys who are, like, holding dead animals that are still bleeding. And it's like, hey, don't you want to date me? I'm, I'm holding this, this dead cheetah that I just killed. Don't you want to date me? Look at this picture of this animal that was alive until it met me. Don't you want to end up the same? <laughs> hey, you. Hey. What's up, Is Michael? Is your day off? Yep. We're here as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. 
This is the annoying co-worker I was telling you about. <sighs> I was there for your introduction to marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying co-worker? Rude. <laughs> Don't worry. She told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24-7, so I feel like I already know you. So, uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or...? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally cannot escape it. Hey, I'm all for efficiency. Cannot wait for us to get out of here. <sighs> What's Are that? Are they fucking...? Oh, uh, Michael is moving to Juno, too. Oh, and did you guys plan on moving together, or...? Well, I mean, yeah. It'll be cheaper to share a place, but nothing's set in stone. Makes sense. There could be room for you, too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm studying to be a chef, so, uh, you know it'll be good eating. And hey, I only snore during allergy season. And baseball. <laughs> How can I say is no to that? Is he flirting with us? <laughs> Here's why. Calm down. You okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah, there's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially first thing in the morning. Shut up. I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, Are y'all well, gonna wanna go that? sometime? Holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Cool. Most guys I know get all smeagol about their fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you two. Bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous <laughs> because she couldn't catch a fish. Even if she filled the lake with cyanide I'm first. Not... It is Never though. Mind. Why is that Tyler, true? We better get started with our shopping. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. We're at Vinny Vidi Vici's Vici's general store. Hmm. I'm not seeing... Should we go inside or stand around until we become human pop? Where's my memory at? Where's my memory at? There it is. I want to have the crispy tocino and noodles and spring rolls. And can we get the coconut cake for dessert? Easy, easy, my hungry goblins. We have to leave some food for the other customers. But Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want. See, they have a lot of good memories with their mom. That will break my heart if this was like a mistake and he killed their mom for nothing. Tehran? Right. Tessa tried to spirit that sign away a couple years ago, but Tom put it back. He loves that cheesy slogan. Then BD. Oh, I just got it. That's kind of funny, actually. It's been up here for ages. Excuse me for not being hip to Julius. Did me to cut you off there, bro. Well, hello, Miss Ronan. Did you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. <laughs> did you just get back into town, or...? More or less. We've been working out at the old house. But surprise, surprise, after ten years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things. Hence the supply run. Ah, oh, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. Uh, I'm not sure nice is the word for it. Oh, of course. I assume being there feels complicated. To say the least. one way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. Okay, so we need candles and an all-purpose cleaner. Plus snacks and drinks. I'm starving. All right, candles and all the good fishing spots. snacks and drinks. Tyler, you want water, soda, juice? Whatever you want. I'm not picking. Wish any of it sound grape soda. It is. Ooh, getting wild. 
Wild. Yo, when I was a kid, grape soda was yeah, my shiz. Oh, yeah. And orange uh, soda. Well, I could not get enough of that hoe. I'm gonna be a chef. Oh. Um. <clears throat> you gonna open up your own restaurant? Oh, slow down, tiger. Um, what else was it? In the meantime, I'll be washing dishes as I work my way up Juno. Snacks. Diner industry. Drinks. I bet you won't be washing dishes long. Yeah, Candles. I'll graduate to Candles. slinging Adam and Eve on a raft. Hey, Tyler, remember the Trout King? Yeah, I saw it. I thought Tom might have retired him by now. Are you kidding? He never missed right a after. chance to tell customers he won a Trout Derby. You watch Saltburn ERT? You hate me for making you watch that movie? At what point did I make you watch that movie, bro? I didn't tell not nan one of y'all to watch Saltburn. The only person who I told to watch Saltburn so, is not here. What do you think a snack was? Are you a candy girl or a chips girl? Um, chips for sure. Savory or sweet any chips. day. Salt and vinegar is the only thing that sits right if my stomach's acting up. Wasn't planning on making out with anybody tonight. So let's go for it. Let's see. Fresh cut peonies, triple, mm, plain candles are fine. Maybe I should have done peonies. Can I swap them? No, oh, okay. Michael, you want me to pick up some birch syrup for you? Is that some roundabout way of asking me to make you two my world famous pancakes? Ooh, busted. Yes, it was. Cook for me, Poppy. Cook for me. Cook for me. Man, I wish we had a toaster. We could stock up on frozen waffles. What else am I missing? What do we still need to get? I haven't found the cleaning stuff yet. All purpose cleaner. Right, 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 right. Is it over here? A laundry, fabric softener. Hey, if we buy ice cream. Any opinion on cleaning products? Only that using them is an unfortunate way to spend an afternoon. All surface, all surface, all purpose. I'll take the strong one. Let's do the strong one. We got big girl stains. Okay, I think we're done here. Tom will ring us up at the counter. All right, bring me up. Will that be all? Yes. Thank you, Tom. Oh, hi, Tessa. We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. My God, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Mary Ann's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? This is their mom's best friend, right? We want to ask you some questions about her. You're the only person who might have known Marianne better than us. I, I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. What happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. That's all we can know. I need to go now. Best of luck. Yo, to you, every time something tragic happens and what someone's like, it was what God intended, it's talk. it's God's will, it's like it was God's plan. Oh my gosh. Weird, I just want to karate chop them weird, in the throat. Right? Yeah, I feel it too. Something's on the tip of my tongue. I hope we don't have to see her again. Because homegirl was annoying as shit.
Hey guys, you all done yet? Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, what's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Oh. Single mother. Huh. I'd completely Raising two kids by that. herself. I remember it. Stressed out. But no money. Exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version. Checks out. Okay. Checks out. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? How's Tessa today? She looked a bit overloaded earlier. She's a real busy bee. Ever since I started campaigning, she's picked up the slack around here. She's practically running the place. I hate to break it to you, but she always kind of has run the place. Well, now that's a matter of opinion. Tasha, I'm not even gonna lie. Strawberry soda also hit specifically, but if I had to pick between strawberry and grape, I would pick grape. What's next on the campaign trail? A rally down at the harbor. The fishermen are getting pretty fed up with business as usual. I've got some ideas about how to keep the fish populations up, but also put food on the table. Grab some flyers. Help spread the word. How's business? Oh, a little light on customers, but that's given us time to finish up the inventory. I think we might close early. Maybe catch the final of Survival on Ice live. Uh, don't tell Tessa, but I'm rooting for Butch. She thinks he's too cutthroat. I say that's the game. You tried that new chocolate bar we got in last week? Oh, no. Not yet. I didn't think I'd like it. Habanero and chocolate. But it's not How bad. wholesome is this conversation? What'll they think up next, huh? Okay. I'll talk to you later. Have you tried the new chocolate bar we got in the other day? How fucking wholesome. That's it. Let me holler at you, skank. Is there something I can do for you? What are you doing? So what are you doing there? Oh, just inventory. Guess I'm lucky I had the day off, huh? <laughs> yes. What a lucky coincidence. No, just picking up some things for the house. Oh, okay. Does your brother need any, um, shaving products? We've got some on sale. I think he's got everything, but, uh, thanks. Good, good. Well, you let me know if we're running low on anything you need. No, never mind. Talk to your brother, Sadie's? Gotcha. I was about to. He's the only person left. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne, can we talk? I don't know. Something about can't. Tessa. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. She's just trying to get her money, right? Okay. That's it? All right, let's. We remember that slightly differently. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know? But whatever happened, after that, they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa. Please, right? let's just talk uh, for a no. few minutes. Marianne defended okay? us because Tessa got all preachy. Choose which what memory you, you want to remember. Uh, do we choose Tyler's memory, or do we choose Allison's memory? I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Oh my gosh. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Um No, Tessa I feel was. like she went on Jack Thompson on her. I want to talk to you. Which is it going now? To be? Or do I need to start calling in your debts? I want to talk to you. Gosh, I don't know which one I'm more like Jeremy? which one seems more plausible. Looking for a fight. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? 
Oh gosh, Please. I'll go with Tyler's memory, even though. Let's just ugh. talk for a few minutes. Even though I don't know. Okay. Please, Marianne, I'm just trying. Stay away from my children. They don't need your guidance. I'm just trying to help. I don't need help. Not from you, not from anyone else in this fucking town. I'm done with all of you. You're done with the food I give you? The fuel? Maybe you are, but the kids are my children. Tessa, mine, not yours. Please, let's not do this here. Let's go into my office. Fine. Okay. You two, wait here. What is wrong with you? I'm still skeptical, but okay. For now, let's say Marianne was being Marianne. But yeah. once they got into the office, they both went at it, hard. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Don't know. It was impossible to hear anything after she cranked up the music. Hi, Wiccan, how are but you hey, doing? Now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. By the way, do you have a moment? I would really appreciate it if you would just give me a little a little quick thumbs up -y. A little quick thumbs up -y. Um, Do I need to talk to him again? No? Okay, let's talk to Marianne. Is there something I can do for you? Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself. But you two had a big fight a few months before her death, didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Girl, you I, know. I was in the middle of something. Okay. We'll can we, can we, can Damn we it. force it out of her? Can we read her mind? I think she knows more than she's letting on. Uh, duh. Let's kidnap her dog. Her down when we don't even know what we the need. The dog ransom until she answers If us. we could pinpoint what it was We about, have options. We have options here. Sure, but how do we do that? And the music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the I'm time. Dialed in. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. Hmm. You may be onto something here, Ronan. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what song it was. We should go talk to Tom, right? See if he remembers the song. I wish I had an Xbox controller because I feel like it'd be a lot smoother. And me <laughs> with my six inches of, of death space doing that. My bad, y'all. Hey, Tom. There's something I can make. I mean, Xbox, with? but like, you know what I mean? An Xbox. Um, do you remember that one song? This might be a weird question, but do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time. <laughs> How could I forget? Uh, I think she's still got the CD back here. We're about to get the answers out. Worse for the guess what, wear, Tessa? Of course. The truth uh, always uh, comes to light. You hear me? The truth always uh, comes to light. And so we're going to get to the bottom of what happened away, that day honest. when you was arguing with your trifling ass mama. This is it, right? I think so. It's giving fake ass Beatles, but I'm not mad at it. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man. Play a song. You seem rapsy. Yeah. 
sings that song. Tam is a tambourine. Should we check this one out? Yes. We should go check out those memories now. The kids keep pestering me for these candies, but they're so expensive. I'll just grab a bag. It's fine. Oh, no. I, I can't, Tessa. It's nothing. Okay. But write it down in your little notebook. Okay, okay, whatever you want. There, happy? Yes, and I'll be by on Wednesday to help you close, like I promised. That's your food. I feel like she was Marianne's mom sometimes. I think you mean Tessa was self-righteous and treated Marianne like a charity case. She was trying to help. We should see if we can find that notebook she was holding. I know Tessa still keeps a bunch of them in here somewhere. We gotta find her little notebook. We should see if we can find that notebook she was holding. Yeah. I think they're all piled up in Tessa's office somewhere. All right, let's do it. How are you liking the game so far? That's actually my question for y'all. How do y'all like the game so far? What are you doing here? Uh, I thought you needed help with the store. I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? What? Probably. No, I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. I'm fine. There he is. I said I'm fine. Kids, come on, let's go. Wait, please. I have something for you. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. She's the one that gave our mom the brochure for the conversion camp. That pamphlet was Tessa gave to Mary Ann. I saw it in Mary Ann's room. It had a creepy vibe, but I didn't think much about it. It was bad, though. Like, maybe conversion therapy bad. I called it. I called it. I'm sorry. If this is true, I want to know how Mary felt about it. And we need to hit Tessa with some hard proof. Shouldn't we try to find something about the pamphlet Tessa gave Mary Ann? Good idea. What was the organization called? The Alliance Against Other People's Business. Tessa is still in here. Can we go through her shit while she's still in here? <clears throat> Can I help you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. Ah, 2004. Anything interesting? Not us going through her shit while she's in the room. Elijah. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to close that. Just kidding. Pick it up again, sis. Tessa equals suspicious. All right, this is Eric B. I wonder if our mom, can we get a Mary, Mary Ann right here? No show. It looks like Mary Ann started flaking on her debt in October, 2004. Five months before. That night. She plays Mabel in Witches of Eldom? What? Why would I know about some silly show for teenage What's girls? What's this doing here? We got another collectible. All right, let's check our computer. Uh, you keep looking that way, sis. You keep looking that way. Uh, Tessa? Is it okay if I run a quick Google search? My phone's dead. Sure, but make it quick. I'm going to need the computer. Or Alliance for Traditional Families. Wait, what? Yeah, that's it. Is that what she recommended for Tyler? I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, Tyler. Yeah. Let's see how Tessa explains this one away. It's the elephant in the room. All right, we found the evidence. What's up, Tessa? What's up, Tessa? Explain to me what's going on, sis. Is there something I can do for you? We're back with details that should help your memory. Oh, really? Yes, really. Marianne was having one of her days. You were trying to talk, but she wasn't cooperating. The two of you started arguing, and you went in the office and cranked up that song you both loved. Hmm, and when was that? Well, our memories don't exactly have timestamps. 
Oh, shit. Oh, oh, God. I did, uh. Damn it. I don't remember. I didn't know we were supposed to remember details. Oh my gosh. Part of me wants to say it's October. What do y'all think? Part of me thinks it's October, but that's probably not right. August? April? Um. Uh. Yeah, y'all don't know either. I'm, I'm, oh gosh. I'm gonna say October. I don't know, bro. October 2004. That was when she stopped trying to pay her debts, right? Yes. I don't know why. She always found a way to pay before that. But we never argued about money. She got it right. I, I was frustrated, but you can't squeeze blood from a stone. Yeah, we didn't think you guys were arguing about money. Um. We know you support the Alliance for Traditional Families and that you gave her the pamphlet about their camp. What camp? <laughs> Don't play stupid. Don't play stupid. The Virtue Seekers. The Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. It was conversion therapy. You told her that Tyler should go there. I, uh, um. No. I <laughs> Why are you mumbling? Look, your mother was in a bad place. It was clear she was coming apart at the seams. She told me she'd been struggling with you and I'd heard such good things about that camp. Your answer to my mother's bad moods was to send me to conversion therapy? It's what I thought would help both of you at the time. Tyler, it was worse <laughs> than bad moods. She was not well. I mean, not well at all. That makes sense. Do you know what they do to kids in those places? About the not well part. I do. No. And how did Marianne take your helpful suggestion? Badly. She wanted to let you be whatever perfect little butterfly was in that cocoon. And yes, we argued about it. So she was cool with who I was? She was more than that. She loved you. Listen, I don't mean to be rude, but I really do have a lot on my plate today. Oh, okay. shit. Well, get out of your way then. Thanks, Tessa. Oh, shit. Yo, did you really kill your mama for nothing? Can we grab our groceries? Ah, uh, um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Okay, thanks. Bye, Tom. See you later. What are you thinking? Just, uh, trying to wrap my brain around all that. I can't believe you got Tessa Vecchi to talk about the past. Bravo. Mind blown, bro. Yeah. Mind blown. Marianne, she had my back. It really doesn't change much, right? She was still fucking crazy. She still tried Man, to that's kill what, me. That's what it really means to be a parent. But knowing she was trying to protect me. It's like knowing that you're responsible for this person's happiness, this child's happiness. It feels good, Allison. Hey, to raise them, look at me. to support them, you to teach them. You are allowed to feel them, however you are feeling them. about this. But most God, importantly, let them be them. You're speaking let my language. Let them be them. And even though I don't know what's gonna happen after this, what? I think that's Sorry, dope that I'm that's what she did, because that's what a mother or a father should do. Yeah, me too. Don't try to change your kids to be what you want them to be, to be what you never were. Well, it's a good thing Eddie's expecting us. He knew Marianne pretty well. Two people well. have kids he was and be like, did he ever I wanna, anything I wanna have a daughter so she can do all the things I didn't no. get to do. Never asked. Or I want to have a son so he can play pro football because I never got the chance guess to. Guess that might have made for some no. dinner conversation. Let your kids do what they want to do. Be who they exactly. are. Exactly. But I mean, he's a good cop. Thorough. I'm sure he's got something. Let's go. Accept them for who they are. Love them unconditionally. Oh, 
we got the full confession achievement in the game. Her, we played it perfectly. I mean, we knew we would. We knew we would. This is kind of bleak. It's usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six? In the mean streets of Delos Crossing? Just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. But what about drunk bears? <laughs> anyway, he's probably in his office, upstairs. Side note. Side note, I was looking at, so I, I yeah. forgive me. They still got this creepy mascot, Someone. huh? Someone. What? Officer Justin Beaver is not creepy. Justin He's Beaver. He's Delos Crossing's longest serving officer. Um, someone had posted a clip of last stream when I had to drink that disgusting soda. And they put it in black and white with some depressing slow music behind it. And I, I, I. I want to catch up on all the Delos Crossing gossip. Um, but I just want to say, have fun. Meet my me makeup last stream was crazy. I will never wear that much makeup again on stream. I literally looked crazy. Let me take you for a ride. Want to see what a police officer does on the job? Register for the ride along program. Talk to Chief Brown. Justin Bieber, so funny. All right, we got a petition to protect salmon. Y'all say salmon or salmon? The National Guard. We'll read that if we have to later. There's something up here. Did I miss something? Home sweet home. Hmm. You spent a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. Hmm. Not the gaffing. Um we got something about overcrowding issues in jail cells. What? Oh, Greg's. Just leaving this out on display again. Like Officer Greggs? The one who was with us that night. You remember Dan and Shelby? I think so. The high schoolers who were always pissing Tessa off because they would blast fish and make out in the Vecchi's parking lot. Yep. Dan's a cop now. They're married and have a kid, a dog, the whole shebang. Damn. When did everybody decide to become an adult? Oh my god, that's the cutest. It's cute, but don't tell me you've got baby fever. Ew, no. Hell I didn't no. always jump to that. Hell no. Mm, where is it? Any farther from it? So where is it? Oh, this door. Come on, man. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room with a bed. Anywhere but a cell. We'll find some other place. Here we go again. I can gush about kids not and not too. want them. I'm not ready. Me neither. I love kids. I think they're amazing. But no, I don't want one. Whew. That is going to smell lovely tomorrow. It's from Tessa's restaurant, right? Uh-huh. Everyone eats there all the time. It's as exciting as food gets in Delos Crossing. Yeah, that's my my one my oh, girl. Get it out. One of my main things is like I I'm a very impatient person. 
the mailbox bandit, huh? <sighs> Something's in the way. We need to go upstairs and get something from behind this door. Or let's try this down here. Ah, cool. Is there a key mm. behind the counter? Eddie over must here? have locked it already. No? Okay. What do you know? Still locked. Did we try the door, actually? Mm. Locked. Holding so. Let's try upstairs. Tyler, you coming? We are really in a police. We really broke into a police station at night. That's really what we did. Allison, hey. Just finishing up a call. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Here's the key to the break room. Thanks. Come are there other keys on that okay? keychain? That we can use? Coffee sound good? The machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh-huh. Okay, there's no other things down here. All right, come on. Come on, broski. Those memories in some deep, deep part of my brain. Same here. <sighs> Something's in the way. Where is it? Where is it? Hey. That coffee is sounding real good. Where's the break room? Where is it? I don't see. Okay. Can you hear me? Okay, let's go in. No. Am I tripping? Where's the memory at? Where's the memory at? No say, no say. All right, let's move whatever is behind this Ugh, door. They've let this place get gross. Can you imagine having to be the person who's in charge of cleaning than I prison cells? Hi, <clears throat> Golden. Thank you for coming through, Gold Member. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm not going in. Okay. I'm not that hungry. How is this still coffee? Warm? You sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh, I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. Too much in my mind. Those dusty couches won't make it any easier. Hey, you okay? Say Gur Squad is the best. Truly. I can't do this. Calm down, Allison. Stick to the plan. Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't. Please, I can't lie. We already lied. It's all gonna be fine, okay?
You okay? Honestly, no. Do you ever regret? No, Ooh. no way. Well, maybe once or twice early on, but now, no way. I mean, look where we're at. Look where I'm at. Was she gonna ask, do you regret Uncle killing our mother? Probably done by now. We should go find him. Do you mind if I go inside that room for a second? Uh, you sure? Look at me being nosy. I've been in here since that night. Eddie was so uncomfortable, he dropped a vape. Here. Have a seat. All right. Sorry. Huh, they kept this? What? It's that vase. They glued it back together. What are you looking at? Uh, this poster. Y'all are feeling the music? I kept staring at it that night. I was picturing myself in the forest, hunting for goblin treasure. Just wanted to be anywhere but here. Yeah. Oh, but to answer your question that you asked me 30 minutes ago and I never answered, huh. so far I'm really liking that the game. There? No way. Have you been hiding back here all this time? Yo, we've gotten three collectibles. What happens if we get all of them, y'all? Do we do we win something? I know Gur Squad would like a date with Tyler. I'm pretty sure Chief Brown is done with his phone call by now. All right, well, let's go then. Let's go then. Let's go, girls. Why did you separate us? Is Ollie okay? Ollie's just fine, honey. They're all in the other room having cocoa. Everything's gonna be okay. I need to ask you a few questions now. Come with me. So Tyler was asking us to lie? What about... Uh, what about... Uh, you okay? Yeah. I just usually try my best not to remember that night when I'm here. I would too. Check out this masterpiece. <laughs> You made it? Uh-huh. I glued it to the pot one day when I was bored, and nobody has bothered to peel it off. All right, let's go talk to homie on the phone, right? Where was he? Oh. Where are we going? We're just gonna sit down in here, and I'm gonna ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. quiet yeah sorry trying to deal but it's a lot might as well unlock everything while i got these keys Hey, sorry that took so long. Sometimes these old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. No worries, Uncle. Hey, do you remember this guy? Hi, it's Karen. How's it going? Yeah, of course. Carol. How can I forget? Tyler Ronan, back in Delos Crossing. It's uh, good to be back. And just look at you. 
A man grown. Yep, guess I ate my Wheaties. The whole clan's so proud of you. How you work with those kids at Fireweed. I always say children of the future. <laughs> I thought that was Whitney Houston. <laughs> Come on, bro. She stole her entire act from me. Everybody knows that. Look at you two. Reunited and it feels so good, You think good, he's huh? funny, huh? <laughs> yeah. Not sure how I got by without this dork. Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. We found something in Marianne's room. Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh, yeah? Marianne was worried about something. Did she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? About Tyler in particular? You were cooking something? No. She dealt what you with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at home. I'm inviting time. myself to dinner. I see. I will tell you one thing, though. Your mom. Never knew her to hate anyone for being unconventional. Usually. It's the other way around. Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day? Anything at all? No. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? Yes, no. Kunder. There is. I hadn't seen Mind her your business. Weeks. Maybe a month before. Thank you. Thanks, Uncle Eddie. If you want my advice, nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. <laughs> we don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, Cajun son. chicken alfredo? I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. Night traffic, have a good night. Her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, her police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. There are procedures. But you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, Chief Brown, are you going to help us? Or are you going to be a cop about Tyler! This? No, it's fine. Tyler, I know you resent me, Stop but... Stop fighting your family! You. I'm not mad about fireweed, but I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. That's what this is about? Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense, but we couldn't be sure. <laughs> I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, okay? I was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal, and you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? Uncle, please, let's move on. She's never gonna tell you how much that hurt her. But it did. That was about me. It okay, wasn't so about her. 21. Allison you. gets that. And three years is nothing compared to seven. Right, Allie? Um. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. I, I, honestly, I think Eddie did his best for me. But, oh God, but also being kept apart from your twin is wrong. That's 10 years that they missed out on their relationship. Look, uncle, separating us like that did not help me heal. If anything, it was the opposite. Even if he had been dangerous, I'd have taken the risk. Being apart was that miserable. I didn't know you felt that way, little moose. It was hard to talk to you about it. I didn't want to seem ungrateful. Look, we've all fucked up. We've all hurt I each haven't. Other. I'm playing a flawless game but so far. Isn't Speak that for what yourself, family's sis. for? Can't we just move on? Sounds like the right call. <laughs> Times like this, I, I wonder who raised who. We're going to stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You want to grab a bite first? It's on me. <laughs> they want to send you out there with Ten empty stomachs. I would not yeah. turn that down. Okay. But here's the question: Why wish? Why did he not want to see his sister after 
they turned 18. Because it could have just been seven years that they were apart, but he made it 10. That's what it sounded like. He thinks there's more to the story. <laughs> we did nothing wrong. We're we're flawless in this game so far, no! Spy. Oh shit. That sure is damning. Your mama chasing you with the shotgun still in her hand. Mad Hunter. I would love to see this developer make a horror movie. I mean a horror game. Can y'all imagine like a, a scary version of Life is Strange? Please, Mom. I'm sorry I cut my hair. I won't do it again. I'm going to kill you! No. Please. Now I know why he didn't want to see your ass for those three years. He went to juvie for you? I killed her. I killed her. Allison, we need to call for help. I killed her. No, you didn't. I killed her. And when they come, that's what we're going to tell them. That's why you want no, her to lie. No. Yes. We look out for each other. That's what goblins do. And brothers and sisters, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. The guilt? Oh my gosh, now I understand why this is so hard for her. The guilt that she must have. That makes so much sense. Cause I was like, why is she making everything about her? Damn. That was a good first chapter. That was a really good first chapter. Think about this for a minute. So, it sounded like right before she got stabbed, she was saying, This isn't what it looks like. Or she was trying to say, This isn't what it looks like. So it's like, was she high and she like saw something? She mistook our child for like a monster? Cause drugs will do that. Or maybe she was suffering from like schizophrenia. Cause she seems, aside from that incident, she seemed like a mom trying to do her best, to be honest. Was she perfect? Far from it. But it seemed like she was really, she really loved her kids. I'm gonna be thinking about this all night. 
I think we should stream this tomorrow as well. I think we should play chapter two tomorrow. And chapter three, the last chapter of the day after that. Yeah? Man, that's so sad, bro. Sadie's experience in this game with you is amazing. I mean, thank you. I'm I'm just happy I have no idea what's gonna happen, so my reactions will be genuine. But y'all tomorrow I'll be streaming this again. Same time, same place. Turn noties on if you haven't already. Like the video if you haven't already. It really helps me out. Um, thank y'all so much. We hit 300 subs. 303 subs on Twitch tonight. Thank you so much. We got 15 memberships on YouTube. Thank y'all so much. Um, tomorrow we will be continuing this game and the final days of the punishment wheel. I hope y'all sleep good. I hope y'all eat good. I love you so much, Gray Squad. Have a good night, okay, guys?